Hey guys, today is August the 1st of 2013 and uh, I want to go over the Euro and I just want to let you know this is an educational video only so please consult a professional financial advisor. And I also want to let you know that I've been out of the loop, I've been traveling a lot and uh, doing some other stuff and uh, finally I'm in front of the computer. I don't like trading when I don't have access to the computer or I, you don't know, I don't know what's going on, um, you know, because I'm a swing, you know, scalp trader and uh sometimes the markets could get crazy and you want to at least see what's going on to determine you know if you need to get out or not so with that being said i'm going to be a little more active now this month uh since i'm going to be uh more in front of the computer like i said so let's get into the charts as you can see man right here this is the euro and this is a cluster of angles right here and it's been just fighting here and piercing and shooting and uh, it broke the th uh, 23.6 Fibonacci level, uh, which is at 33.16, pierced it. And you see this uh, green line right here? Uh, that's the 50% uh, uh, price and time from the 7.24 swing low to the uh, February uh, 1st swing high of 37.10. So this is smack in the middle of price and time. So... I don't know if this thing is just going to kind of dance, go up, hit here, and then sell off, or kind of retrace, you know, fake some, you know, early bears, and then just shoot right up, you know, and maybe retest that 3710. I really don't know. I'm just kind of guessing, but it looks like, you know, we just had a red Hekanashi candle, so I don't know if this is the beginning of a retracement. And uh, where would it go? It would go to the 38.2% Fibonacci level, 37.82. I really don't know. But as you can see, it's having some issues right now. Uh, and the U.S. market's about to start, uh, like, in two minutes. So that's what I see on price and time. Uh, if we, uh, let's see what else I want to show you. Uh, look at my monthly spirals. And by the way, I did some new monthly spirals for scalping. And uh, it's pretty, pretty cool. I'm going to see maybe in my next video I do that. Uh, it looks a little different than this. This is more the bigger levels. As you can see, it kits this, kits this uh, spiral level right here as support. And you got the pink one that I've always seen that it's been respecting. Uh, and uh, it kits this blue one right here. So it's kind of here and it's going to probably be in this little range until it decides what it's going to do. But you can see that this is big, you know, gap around here where, you know, if it could go down, it could go maybe to the next pink line. So we'll see. But that's, I uh, just wanted to show you what I'm seeing as of today. Uh, what else I want to show you? Uh, let's look at the big picture, man. Uh, let's get back into the groove of things. Let's see what's the big picture saying. Okay, so you can see this yellow line right here. This is the uh, value area high. Um, if we get a little closer and you see this uh, red line right here, that's the linear regression line. That right there is smack in the middle. If I zoom back, you see these channels uh, right there and right here. Uh, this one right here in the middle is the middle. So the euro is really much smack in the middle right now. Uh, on what's it going to do and it's interesting it's kind of smack in the middle we've been pricing time of the swing high and swing low which is going to be coming up uh which i forgot to tell you that's august uh 12 just to make sure i think august 12 is the 50 percent level uh within time where's my thing here just want to make sure i'll give you guys the wrong date uh you see that big long green one right here yep august August 12 will be the 50%. So let's go back into our glances chart. So the good thing with the euro is if we get closer. You're above the 50, the 20, the 200. You just cracked the Kumo cloud, which is really good. And you're, you know, above mobile band. And you're, you know, you dance, what is it, 2552? And this right here is uh, 20, uh, 3242, and you're at 3254. So you're right here. You're above. You're good. 
and this is a value area high, 32.87. Uh, it hit the uh, Fibonacci level right here, and uh, very bullish, man. It could do a nice little retracement and then just shoot even higher. So that's on the daily. Uh, on the weekly, let's see what we got. On the weekly, if you were to go high, I say the target would probably be 3408, uh, which is a 200 uh, simple moving average. But everything is bullish here. Everything looks bullish. And on the monthly, you look like you want to crack. Oh, where'd it go? Looks like you want to crack out of the mobile band. And uh, targets on the monthly would be the. Uh, 50 simple moving average the 100 and you got the uh, 50 uh, 50% Fibonacci level you just kissed the uh, Cajun uh, indicator uh, Cajun simple moving average uh, which is the red dotted one uh, so you know we'll see but uh, if it could just man if it could just break out of that mobile band and just push higher uh, for August and get out of this this cluster zone because this is what it is man it's just been chopping back and forth from right here uh, and I'm gonna show you that you know price wants I think price wants to push higher with my uh, squeeze play indicator let's look at the big picture so I can show you why I think price wants to go higher which you know my uh, my instincts tells me man it just it, it, it's gonna pull back and go to a lower but you know they say those indicators, uh, they tell the true tale if you, you know, if you learn how to follow them right. Where was my big picture? Man, it's been a while. Okay, here we are. You know the drill monthly, weekly, daily, and the 12 hour. If you look at the big picture right here, they give the squeeze play. And it's finally, and that's if, you know, if I open it up, you can see that it's already pushing higher. Right there. On the monthly two. So this is what's telling me that, you know, this thing wants to go higher. It like it wants to test that 3710 level. And then, you know, and, and then decide what you want to do. Or the bank, somebody, somebody's believing in the euro. You know, Fisher's pushing higher, MMG. This is the monthly. Look how it's all going. The only thing that concerns me is uh, the, fifth, the 5 and the 20 are really, you know, uh, they got a big distance from the 50. So it could bring a snap back, but I'm not, you know, it's just on the back of my mind. All this is positive on the monthly. Uh, like I said, this is the resistance. You got the 50, 100, and the 50% Fibonacci level. So if it could break through all that level, then, you know, Euro's really going to go higher. Right now, it's kissed the uh, 500 simple moving average. You got the 200 right there. Very positive, pushing higher. Uh, TTM, uh, TMA positive. Uh, MOBO positive. It looks like you're embedded. Uh, so everybody is just trending. So this strong momentum. Positive on um, Fisher on the weekly, uh, positive here, very strong, and you like I said here, and these indicators pushing higher. On the daily, you know, you got a little issue today. Uh, this today, uh, it's pushed lower. You know, hasn't cracked Mobo, but you got all the support down here. The two, the the twenty, the fifty. If it gets all the way down there, I know there's going to be some bulls, you know, showing up. Team is still positive. It's telling you stay, you know, stay positive, stay long, stay, stay strong. Uh, mobile positive, and this is a nice little setup for a snapback, because the uh, it's 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 separated itself so far from the five and the twenty that it looks like it is bound to go back up and check again. Yeah, this concerns me a little bit. I don't like seeing fishers on the daily. Uh, could be a cluster of chop and this doesn't look good either hopefully it could snap back and go up uh, this is not looking good either uh, pushing lower while price is going higher so like a little divergence so you just got a blue bar on a TTM squeeze and on the daily on the 12 hour you know you're still positive 
you know, you got the 20 there, you got the 50 here, you got the Fibonacci level right there, you know, still staying positive. You got, you know, clusters of back and forth, and you got a snapback set up for uh, the 12 hour that is probably going to catch up to the uh, uh, 50, uh, the 5 and the 20. Um, and this is negative, and this is just kind of negative, and this is like divergence going lower. Same thing here. So. Those are my thoughts on the Euro. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll uh, keep posting you my thoughts. As of right now, I'm on the sidelines. I'm just kind of trying to determine, you know, what's going to happen. Uh, just just pretty much seeing what this uh, this week is going to bring so then I can just make my uh, moves for uh, for next week. All right. Enjoy this video. Peace.